Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we're going to be fighting against misinformation about Halo and the internet, and who I never would have thought that I would have to make a video like this in ever. I feel like the opposite of Keemstar and Drama Nation, or Drama, what the heck is Drama Alert? I don't know. But as somebody, you know, who loves Halo and who makes content around Halo, this happening has caused such an you know, outroar and like people are so upset about, I don't know, both sides of the equation. But anyways, today it's about Astacross, who is a very popular Destiny 2 content creator and kind of moving into more variety stuff. I wouldn't say I personally know him, but I've had like conversations with him every once in a while, not really like super in-depth, but I think he's a pretty okay guy. I, he's never given me any reason to like hate him or anything like that so i'm just gonna assume that this was not to be malicious or anything but the other night he tweeted the boys and i just got banned on halo infinite for bagging wtf and he has a screenshot of it and he had multiple follow-ups that tweet like is this a thing is bagging bannable 30 minute timeout on halo infinite for bagging and like they were, like, having fun, drinking, doing fun games and stuff, and they were, you know, apparently sloshed to the point where the game, it, they didn't do any damage and stuff. Um, Unishek, the community manager for, you know, 343 and Halo, actually got involved in on it. Hundreds of people were, like, going through the recently played games to see if they were quitting and stuff, which is what Unishek had said. Unishek actually said that, yeah, that's not a thing. A 30-minute timeout is automated and only happens after quitting multiple games in a short amount of time. It's always prefaced by a 10-minute timeout, too, so that means there was likely a lot of quitting leading up to it. Players can also reach out to Halo support. But, like, so this, this tweet got picked up and uh while Astacross's tweet has like um almost 8,000 likes there's this dude who seems like a political person you know it, I think that um not to get into politics or anything but uh I think he leans one side of the spectrum pretty hard and his like follower base uh, he's got 197 followers basically uh took this and ran with it i think his tweet as of this moment has 36,000 likes and he just quote tweeted crosses tweet and said teabagging in halo is now a bannable offense and like people lost their mind with like this is woke and i hate halo and just like i don't know thousands upon thousands of tweets about halo and like they say you know, any PR is good PR. This is really, I can't imagine that, like, anybody at 343 is, like, super happy about this. I mean, the original tweet actually got community noted. I think the uh, the other guy's tweet got community noted. There were tons of people tweeting about it, you know, mint blitz. You know, trying to clear it up, saying that they weren't banned for teabagging. It's that his teammates were basically doing awful. People were becoming detectives. Red Gear, you know, tweeted out, and this is kind of how I feel about it too. I genuinely cannot stand when giant creators play Halo and casually just undo all the good faith creators in the scene try to build for the franchise. It does feel like a losing battle a lot of the time, you know. Um, there's a very dedicated group of content creators around Halo at this point, and they're not like doing it for the money or anything like that. And when other content creators come into the space and like say stuff like this, and it just feels like all that time and effort that people have put into, like, you know, trying to improve the game or improve the community and stuff is just, you know, undone overnight. I feel like the current climate and culture of games right now is just, like, in such a weird place. I definitely feel like there's a vocal minority or majority, I don't know, of people that, you know, like who love Halo, who are still a part of the community, who play the games and stuff, and then there are people that, like, hate Halo for whatever reason, maybe because it's, you know, only on Xbox and stuff, and they're, like, PlayStation fanboys. I don't know, but it seems like there's a lot of fighting, you know, going on about this tweet, and it's just exhausting. Like, I can't imagine, you know, like, 343 and stuff. Like, it's just unfortunate. But to sum the video up, no, you don't get banned for teabagging. In fact, I'm not going to lie. When I play Destiny 2 PvP, I get bagged more in that game than, you know, I do in Halo. And 
I don't believe in all like the like I I understand that you can have your own v- viewpoint and stuff like that, but like when somebody bags me, I I honestly don't care. And if I end up like beating that person in a one v one later, I don't really bag back, but I will melee a body just to let you know that I know who you are. But it's never upset me. I've never been like, oh, my gaming session is ruined. Let me go break my controller and stuff. I just don't, I don't know. I don't think like that, maybe. But as always, I would love to hear your comments down below. Let me know. I read all of them, try to respond to all of them. I'm very curious as to how you guys feel about this. You know, Halo kind of not in a great spot, and uh, it's kind of not a great look. And like anything, like the community notes and stuff, like I feel like that stuff comes so late. Like even if it's like a day later, everybody's pretty much taking this for like you know truth and like oh my god you get banned on halo for bagging halo was known for bagging bag 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 so it's just stinky overall but that's gonna do it for the video if you enjoyed leave a like down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and i'll catch you guys around the ring peace